Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm down the craft room and I've just decided to start and decorate a few of these canvases. Um, so what I've decided to do is to paint this one and I'm going to decoupage um, some of them and just paint them up. These make great presents as well. Uh, so this one here, I'm just painting in this paint here from the Fairy Chic Emporium. I have also um, done these two. I've just literally stuck that straight on the top. I haven't painted that yet. And I've just put that on that um, like a patisserie cupcake kind of thing. And I'll distress and do some bits and pieces to the outside of those, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go for it, see how it all turns out and hope it looks quite nice. Right, so I'll just show you how far we're getting on with the other two. Uh, this one here, what I've done is I've gone round the edge with some red paint and I've just used one of these little makeup sponges to dab it on and it sort of helps you get a little bit more control of it. So don't put too much on. I kind of like just dab a bit off on a bit of paper and then do it that way. These makeup sponges came from Poundland. So I've gone all the way around the edge with that and then we'll be putting some of the gold wax on that as well. This one's also work in progress. I've gone round it with this kind of biscuit colour. So I've stuck the napkin on, just gone round it with that. And then we'll be doing some extra bits and pieces to it. Now, if I just move the camera over here, I've given this canvas two paints. So it's had two layers and I've got this beautiful flower that I've cut out of or ripped out of a napkin, which we're putting that on and hopefully using this stencil as well. Right, so we're going to have a go at distressing this one a little bit. I've got some uh, metallic glaze here, brown. I haven't got many brown paints, I've realised. It's obviously not something that I use that often. So um, we're going to have to go with this, I think, for a bit. Sorry there's a bit of a huge shadow. Um, but I'm going to put a bit of this on and maybe we could like wipe a bit off if it gets a little bit too... A little bit too much but I think this might look quite cute over the top and just sort of layer it up a little bit over the top of the other stuff so I'll go round here and we'll kind of just see if you can see there just see how it kind of comes out but it's nice because it's metallic and it's a bit glisteny so that's quite cute Right, so we're going to leave that one to dry up there. And now I'm going to put some gold around the edge here. This is the Fairy Chic Emporium's gold wax. They do a silver as well, incidentally. So I'm just going to get some, rub it on my finger, a little bit like um, lip balm, I suppose. And then I'm just going to go over the edge, or around the edge, should I say. And it will just bring out, and if you can see little bit of kind of gold that goes all the way around. I think it just gives it that little bit of an extra kind of look. So I'll go around the edge with this one. And obviously you could use silver as well if you wanted to, so, or instead of, should I say. But I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I think that looks pretty cool. So I'll go around the rest of the sides and um, we'll probably move on to the other one then because um, this one's got a dry, this other one here has got a dry for a little while so we'll probably move on to the other one we're working on. Right, so we're going to leave those to one side. Now this one, I'm going to put some of this, it's Americana Decor stencil, I'm going to put some of that over the top so that's the packet that it came and I'm just going to use some, just some paint again with the little sponges and go over the top. So what I'm going to do is kind of keep the browns and the neutral colours. I'm just getting a sponge. Looks a little bit like foundation on the end there, doesn't it? And I'm not going to tape this down. I'm going to just hope that it's absolutely fine. And pop this over the top of the stencil and I'm just going to work it all the way through until we've got all the, all the stencil put onto the canvas. Right, so there's the stencil on there, so I've used that kind of brownie colour. And we can also distress that a little bit more because it looks kind of quite 
plain I suppose at the moment so we can distress that if we want to. So we're going to let that dry to start with and then I think we'll pop the um, decoupage pi uh, piece over the top. Right so let's pop the napkin on. Just do our usual, separate the three plies and then we'll just glue the top one on. I really like these colours actually, the browns and the pinks together. I think the back needs something else um, but I might put that on afterwards. So this is again the matte finish. Just pop this over the top. I do really like this. I'm going over the whole lot just to make it even because it will dry clear. And this is um, again this is the fairy chic one but it's a nice thin consistency and it's a lot easier to work with. Sometimes Mod Podge can be quite difficult to work with and I find that this, this works quite well. So as with any napkin, start from the middle and just go out like that. You can go over it with a little bit of film or something over the top but be really careful. You need quite a soft brush for this and this is why the um, the matte finish, the fairy sheet matte, matte finish is quite good because it's not thick and um, it doesn't tend to, to, to rip the napkins like um, maybe PVA or Mod Podge would. So I'm not going to finish that completely so I'm going to go over that when that's a bit more dry. So we'll leave the next stage to dry there for a little bit. Um, in the meantime I'm kind of chopping and changing between the three canvases. I mean they are quite different, the brown ones are sort of similar. This red one here, I've put the finishing coat of the Mod Podge on it already. Um, so I'll just leave that to kind of dry at the top. And this paint here, I think it's near enough dry so I think I'm going to put something else around this corner. I think it needs something else there. Um, so I'm going to see what I've got in my stash just while that's drying but it's working quite well sort of chopping and changing between between the different ones because some are drying and then it gives me a chance to, to start on the other one. Right so with this one I found some Americana Decor Metallics so this is the pearl and I know it's a silver and we're kind of crossing the gold and the silver over but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush as the other one is the gold one and I'm kind of going to mix them together and if it doesn't look right when it first goes on it's fine because we can just cover it with something else so I'm just gonna I might pop a bit more of this actually on the tray and all I'm doing is I'm mixing the two together just thought it just needed something bright around the edge I might pop a little bit more gold in the mix there and I'm just going to go round it giving it a bit of definition round there and then this one will probably be done and I'll just go over the top of it with some of the uh, matte finish as well and if I think it's too bright I'll just dampen it down with a bit more of the gold I kind of wanted it to give it different layers, if you understand, just so it wasn't so flat. I've squidged out far too much of the paint. That's it. Just go around there. I might see how that dries. And I could um, rub a little bit of the gold wax around the edge as well but I just wanted to give it kind of a bit of a different depth to it um, just so it wasn't so one colour. Right so we'll see how that one fares when it's dry. Right with this one I think I'm going to go around the edge with um, some of the dark colour because I think it needs a little bit more browns I would say something something bigger. I could have also maybe gone over the, the text with a little bit more um, something else layered over the top that would look quite nice um, but I'm quite liking this gold colour so I think this would look 
really nice, kind of like framing it really, if you can see there. And this is the same, the metallic glaze that we used before. And again, I'm just using these sponges, but um, next time I get a chance to go to Poundland to buy things like this, I will pick up some more. I've got quite a few, but um, I will get some more because they're quite cheap. So I'm just going to go all the way round. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I think if it's not perfect, it kind of kind of looks better, really. So I'm just going to go round and, and finish this. Rightio, so these are all finished. What I've done is I've just wrapped them in some cello wrap and this would be a great way to present them even if you're giving them for a gift or if you're selling them maybe at a craft fair or online or anything like that. So these are the three that I've done for you today. I'm just going to show you some others that I've just finished as well. These are the napkins that I've used before and what I did was basically just change the side a little bit um, and just add a little bit more colour. So on this one I've just put some pink around the edge and just also put some like shimmering kind of um, acrylic paint just on the edge of that one. This one here I mixed up a pink kind of colour paint just mixed up my own and then I also put some the Americana Decor sparkly paint over the top of that and just used one of the sponges and just kind of like dabbed it on and I've done a very similar thing to this but I didn't put as much pink on so it's a bit lighter in colour and then I just sort of painted the sides in a lighter pink as well so um, just sort of left them like that so I thought well that will give you a few extra ideas as well but these literally are just blank canvases and you can change them and do all sorts of different detail I also put an embellishment on this one I don't know if you can see that so you can stick embellishments on them too maybe if you've got some flowers you could stick those on so it sort of sticks out and it's a bit more 3D so I hope I've inspired you to have a go at this canvas craft it is really easy to do and as i say decoupage is great to to get into as well so that's it from me i hope you're all okay and i'll see you again soon you take care bye for now.